Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm definitely in a good mood to reviewing a Charlie Brown special in August, since we're already in the beginning of August, and it's been a long while since I reviewed a Charlie Brown special, since a Charlie Brown Valentine, which is back in February of this year, and I thought about reviewing um, a Charlie Brown special that's set uh, during election day and I know it's been 11 months too late since last year's election which is a complete disaster and I don't want to get into that however I could have reviewed this back in October or November of last year the problem is though I had to move to a new place and we didn't have the internet unfortunately I had to stay at my grandmother's house for a while before we finally found a place to live. We didn't have the internet at all, so I couldn't be able to post a special review or any other videos out there. So it's the best I can come up with. But I thought it'd be fine to review this one right away. And it's a course called You're Not Elected, Charlie Brown, which is a special about Linus Ben Pelt being chosen to be elected for student body president at Burt Ward School instead of Charlie Brown. Yeah, because you have the theme song that actually says you're elected Charlie Brown, which the chalkboard says you're not elected Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, because they even put in the word not on the top so that way people will know that he's not elected. <laughs> yeah. Now, when they play this special on ABC, they mostly play it uh, after It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And they usually do it every, every October, mostly because, well, after Halloween, we get ready for the election. But it mostly happens, like, during, like, four years. You know, so we get to having the next president or so. And... When ABC started airing this, it was heavily edited, just like most of the specials that they played. Although sometimes they played uncut, like a Charlie Brown Christmas. But this one was heavily edited to the extreme. It, it gets to the point where it gets really short. Like it cuts down to 20 minutes instead of the original running time, which was only 25 minutes. Yeah, so that means they had to cut out the beginning. And that's when they get into the middle of the part where they begin to find out uh, that they're getting ready for an election at school. So, that's a shame. That's another reason to buy your DVDs, VHS tapes, to watch the special for yourself. So you don't have to waste your time with the ABC version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I hate the fact that they did this. It's it's a stupid idea. And they also had to change the theme, too. So they had to go for the uh, Vince Guaraldi's uh, Linus and Lucy theme. To, just to set the mood for it. So. Seeing that it's originally published on October 1964 by Charles M. Schultz, yeah, Linus became, of course, the student body president, while Charlie Brown being the running mate. And this is where we get to the story where we find out what happens during the election. Yeah, which, as we speak, Linus started to blow the election by actually mentioning the Great Pumpkin. So, well, this is where everything just went completely wrong. This is what happens when Linus goes way too far when it comes to his own ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Not to mention, this was the first special that actually brought us the theme song to Joe Cool. That's right. And it, it definitely works so well for that because after that, they later used the theme song, which is a continuation, and There's No Time for Love, Charlie Brown. Yeah. And I love that too because it just works so well. So this is the first time we actually got to see... Joe Cool. And we get to see Joe Cool again, and there's no time for love, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. 
And of course, it was written, played, and sung by Vince Guaraldi. And also, this was the debut of Woodstock after the release of Snoopy Come Home. Yeah, so we get to see him now throughout all the specials that follow. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So let's get to the review. It stars Chad Reber as Charlie Brown, Stephen Shea as Linus Van Pilt, Robin Kong as Lucy Van Pilt, Hilary Momberger as Sally Brown, Todd Barbie, who later went on to do the voice of Charlie Brown in the following special, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Here he's the voice of Russell Anderson, who's actually running against Linus. Linda Ericoli as Violet, Brian Kazajian as Schroeder, and Bill Benlendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins when Sally Brown, Charlie Brown's sister, had just came home from school, completely frustrated, and tells Charlie Brown that she is not going back to school again. Charlie Brown had begun to wonder why, that maybe it might have something to do with her teacher, it wasn't that, or it may have something to do with the kids at school, it wasn't that at all, or maybe it had to do something with her math class. It wasn't that either. In fact, she even had an A on her math. It turns out that it was actually her locker, that she actually had trouble opening it. So that's why she decided not to go back to school again. So then the next day, Charlie Brown had promised Sally that he will definitely help her open her locker. So they decided to have breakfast, um, even though Charlie Brown wasn't really into it somehow. Maybe just have a piece of toast or something to set in the mood. But then we see Snoopy actually making his own breakfast, which actually causes Charlie Brown to be completely frustrated. You know, since he just decided to have cereal and everything instead. And they decided to go back to school. So then... Uh, Charlie Brown had begun to find out about the problem with the locker. He tells uh, Sally that that some lockers are a little difficult and touchy and she needs to make sure that the numbers uh, are just right. Yeah, because they do have a combination right there. It turns out that Sally found out that it wasn't the problem. She actually had trouble reaching the locker. She had trouble reaching she just can't open the, the locker. Well, yeah, that makes sense because she is little. So she couldn't uh, reach the, the lock. So then Sally decided to have um, a school presentation, which is a show and tell. Decided to bring Charlie Brown to, uh, for that presentation in order for her to get an A. It turns out to be a complete embarrassment for Charlie Brown that, that he decided to leave right away. <laughs> But after that, Charlie Brown had saw a poster for the student body president election. Uh, Linus at first had thought that Charlie Brown would be a good candidate, but Charlie Brown unfortunately thought that he would be the wrong choice. And so he thought Linus would be a much better candidate than he is. And that's how he became the running mate. So now he's going to be chosen to help Linus. So Lucy decided that Linus will definitely be the candidate for the student body president. So now he's chosen. Also running for student body president is Russell Anderson. So Linus decided to run for office with um, an actual uh, vigorous and enthusiastic campaign yeah, with the help of Snoopy and Woodstock joining in. <laughs> So they're trying to take an early lead in the polls. This is where they actually had a radio broadcast, which I thought that was really funny too, where, <laughs> where Lucy was trying to have a call-in program where they get to talk to all the candidates out there on trying to find out uh, who they should vote next. I mean, should they vote um, for Linus or they should vote for Russell? 
But then it just turns out to be all these uh, wrong phone calls, <laughs> which is really hilarious because this is what causes Lucy to be completely frustrated and mad. <laughs> that she just gets so pissed off that she keeps hanging up the phone and all that. <laughs> I, I, I know, I, I just couldn't stop laughing. I mean, even the scene where... <laughs> Where Linus was actually wore his headphones wrong, where he actually <laughs> had his headphones like this. And he keeps saying, Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? And then <laughs> and then Lucy just smacks the, the headphones uh, on Linus and saying, Good grief. Yes, you <laughs> You're on the air. Okay, I'm just bringing you that example because that was just hilarious. So yeah, they were on the air, and and that's where we get to see all these calls, and they're mostly calling for either their friend or or anything else, and they're talking about their questions, which that leads to <laughs> leads to that problem. So the election had begun. And so they're going for the polls right there with Russell and, and Linus uh, being the candidates right there. But that's where it started to get much worse when we begin to find out that Linus had blew the election by actually coming up with his the Great Pumpkin speech. And that's when everybody decided to feel like, yeah, this is going to happen. I mean, we're just really sad because... They weren't so sure if if Linus was either going to win the election or he's just going to blew it completely. And well, luckily, he still had a chance after that one screw up that he did. So they're already going by one vote from 84 to 83. So they're already getting the, ahead of. So they're now getting ahead with each other. And as the poll have finally uh, ended. Linus had now became the real winner for for the student body election. So now he finally won. Following his winning victory, Sally had decided to take uh, Linus uh, to the principal offices to to keeping his campaign promises that he has and laying down the law. But unfortunately, that didn't seem to work out because then we begin to find out that the principal had told him about what's going on and that's what leads to that and it causes you know Sally to have a fit and that's when he began to find out that that he was a foul that part of this is just the same thing the principal had told uh, Linus that um, that it turns out that they had no real power at all and that's when Sally suddenly becomes frustrated, walks away, then she kicks the locker, and then it just opens completely at the end. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so that's a shame. Um, so, but anyway, it's a great special. It definitely shows what happens, you know, when when you go a bit too far when it comes to uh, having to become the running uh, candidate right there and I mean it's not easy really I mean you're trying to figure out who should you trust I mean which uh, candidate do you want to vote for it happens because <laughs> we had to deal with this a lot already with all the elections out there like I mean who should be the better president I don't know I'm just I'm just figuring it out myself but it's a funny special I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I love the moments when uh, Snoopy was Joe Cool. I mean, he was trying to uh, <laughs> plead with the ladies while he was uh, trying to have, um, trying to go to the water fountain, just you know, drinking some water and trying to please the ladies. But they all just keep turning him down flat. You know, <laughs> they just ignored him. And then he just goes around inside the classroom just trying to uh, do like a test right there and then he's trying to open the, his uh, binder and then suddenly he got caught 
Yeah, his finger got caught in into uh, one of those um, one of those uh, connections. Yeah, one of those uh, those hole punching uh, uh, connections that they use for the binder, where you put it, where you put your uh, paper inside and you open it just so you can take it out. He had trouble with that and got caught. Yeah, hurt his finger and then then suddenly he got called in, try to figure out that math problem. And actually puts in a <laughs> a paw print for the answer, and then he gets kicked out of school uh, along with his binder, and then he <laughs> got stuck on it. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. Yeah. Uh, great animation all the way. I mean, it definitely works so well for a special that came out in the '70s. Uh, great voice acting, also. As we know it, and <laughs> and I gotta say, it was really interesting for Linus to actually run for student body president because he's definitely the right choice. I mean, Charlie Brown really did find out about that, and, and it's true. And the fact that he actually blowed the election by actually mentioning the Great Pumpkin really blew everybody's gasket or all the way. Like this was going to be the biggest failure that he had ever made. I mean, that's when the Lucy calls him a blockhead for that. Yeah. Also, if you watch the ABC version, they mostly just edit out the beginning of the special where we begin to see what Sally's problem is. And I didn't like the fact that they did that because now we want to be able to find out what's going on. But yet they kept the ending. <sighs> Unbelievable. See, that's how terrible uh, ABC's uh, version really was when it comes to that. I mean, I know they've been having problems like this before. And then they started to add out some of the other scenes, too. But they did kept everything intact. I mean, with the music um, that's done by Ben Scaraldi. Yeah, I mean, they even managed to put in the theme for Joe Cool. I thought that worked very well, especially since it actually had the theme. And I love how they just put that in. Yeah, especially with that uh, radio call-in uh, broadcast uh, in that particular scene. Yeah, one of the funniest scenes here. Um, but anyway, it's a great special. Um, Definitely worth recommending, especially on election night, if you ever get another one for 2020. And to figure out uh, which pres better president we get from the United States. And since this year, is, since last year was a complete disaster for us, but let's hope for the best <laughs> if we ever do. So anyway, that's... Um, you're not elected, Charlie Brown, and I give that special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.